Hello, welcome to my warehouse. I'm your host, Walter Blake Knobloch, or WBK, if you ain't got time for that. And we're talking about online arbitrage, that is buying things on websites and then selling them, either locally or on other websites, sometimes that same website. Now, how can you do that? How possibly can you buy things from Amazon? and sell them on Amazon. Isn't that illegal? Isn't that stupid? Isn't that gonna lose you money? No, no it's not, and I'm gonna tell you how. So online arbitrage, right? We're buying things, these calculators, I have two of them, uh, just a minute. I have two of these calculators, the TI-30XIIS Scientific Fundamental Two-Line Scientific Calculator. I bought these for $8.97, and I'm gonna sell them for around $19. How the hell am I gonna do that? well through the glory of online arbitrage and understanding how demand works. What I'm doing with these calculators is saying, okay, there's someone out there who's willing to pay 19 bucks a calculator. It's gonna be the day before school, they're gonna need it the next day, so they're gonna hop on Amazon Prime and say, hey, I need this tomorrow and I will pay more than I otherwise would because Walmart's gone, because Target's gone, and because the uh, other websites who sell them for the regular price of like 13 or 14 bucks, they have five day shipping. The other way you can provide value with calculators like this or any product, I don't want it to seem like you can only sell this product. The number of, of items you can flip on Amazon is it's not limitless, but it's wide and expansive and there's a lot of variety. You can buy these from stores though. You don't have to buy them from Amazon. You can buy them at Walmart, you can buy them at Target for $8.97. They run these deals all summer long and probably through the school year too, I'm not exactly sure. But what I do know is that you can sell these for between $15 and $19 during the school year, uh, the start of the school year, and also the start of the second semester because people, guess what? They need things, they need them the next day. Uh, how do you figure out what products you can sell? Whew, it's really easy. Now if they're good as fans, that's helpful because your warehouse gets very, very hot and you get very sweaty, so that's uh, that's only an added bonus. But besides that, we're gonna be using tools to figure out the sales rate. There's a lot of tools out there. They uh, have varying prices and degrees of efficiency. I'm gonna do some videos on those in the near future, don't worry about that. Uh, but just for the time being, you can use Amazon Seller App or Profit Bandit. Profit Bandit's like 10 bucks a month. You scan the barcodes and what it says then, it says, uh, okay, this is the top selling calculator or it's the 300,000 selling toy, or it's the 15 million selling book. Here is a screenshot of the Amazon seller app. You're gonna see the sales rank is 152. That is the parent rank. I'll get into that in different videos. It's kind of complicated. And here is the Profit Bandit screenshot. Profit Bandit has more stuff. It's got more options. I use it, but it's 10 bucks a month. Once you've found these high or I guess low sales rank products, uh, then you can begin to say, what's the fees on them? If it's the number one selling calculator, it's selling thousands a day, and my margin on these, the profit I make is $3 at 15 bucks if I buy at $9, or $8.97 in this case, uh, why wouldn't I max that out to my fullest potential? Why not buy a thousand if I can? Arbitrage is not really a new invention. It's been around for as long as there have been things worth trading. What we're doing, what arbitrage really is, is we're trading our time for convenience. The convenience of having it the next day or the convenience of waiting till the last minute to buy it. If these people who uh, are otherwise paying $19 for a calculator, if they really wanted one, they would have bought it two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, like us. But whether it's subconscious or whether it's on purpose or whether it's just the way things are, they are choosing to uh, not get one and we are choosing to speculate, I guess, on how much these things are worth. It really isn't speculative because there is years and years of price history and sales history but we are taking a risk. You don't even have to use the internet to sell these. You can buy them and then just sell them locally. Arbitrage is not an online only thing. I just think it's easier uh, because Amazon using FBA does all the storage and shipping. You could buy these, put them in your garage and sell them for 15 bucks a pop once school starts and once the second semester starts or just throughout the entire year probably because people need these and oftentimes they're sold out. If you don't know how to list this, I have videos about that. I'll link to them below. But if you do know this, hopefully this little bolo helped you make some money and uh, gave you a reason to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find interesting ways, new ways, weird ways, independent ways to make money. And the more people who watch my videos, the more uh, risks, I guess, I can take. See you guys later. Thank you.